Hey folks, I'm Walter, and that question about what is the best ship or cruise line for senior citizens, well, that's a complicated one, because honestly, they all cater to senior citizens. Almost doesn't matter which ship or which cruise line, they all do cater to senior citizens in some way, shape, or form. And of course, what senior citizens are looking for in their vacations has probably changed quite a bit over the past, say, 10 or 20 years. So let's look at some considerations so then you can pick the best cruise line for what you're looking for. Now, first, we have to consider what kind of vacation are you or what are you looking to get out of your next cruise and so we need to look at the ship and we need to look at the itinerary now step two who would you like to cruise with would you like the ship to be primarily adult maybe skewed towards an older generation or are you open to going on a family ship where obviously you're going to have more children but you're also going to get a much wider range of ages and people and experiences to mingle with now number three how important is the quality of the food to you so if food is more important to you then you'll want to pick a cruise line that skews higher on food if food is not as important well that opens up your cruise choices even more number four how big of a ship would you like to go on I mean they go anywhere from say 300 people up to almost 7,000 people on a ship with those four very basic very high level considerations we can start to narrow down the ship and the cruise line that might give you the experience that you're looking for and hey be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon so that you're notified when we have more content now when you're on board the ship what kind of experience are you looking for are you looking for a more luxury laid-back quiet experience or do you like to have the option to maybe have some bumper cars on board you know maybe the ropes course up top you know more physically active things fun things to do well then you're certainly going to be looking at a Royal Caribbean a Norwegian cruise line a carnival and Disney cruise line they do have those outdoor activities they are more family based they'll also have your trivia your dancing and things like that inside so you don't necessarily have to partake in that but if you want to have the option to have those outdoor activities those are the four cruise lines you would start looking at now if you're looking for a more laid-back a more adult experience I don't need all of those outdoor activities outside I don't need the bells and whistles because I'm not going to use them well then certainly you start looking at celebrity princess Holland America and Virgin Voyages. Now Virgin Voyages came out of the gate saying, hey, we're gonna be all about millennials, but they have since changed their tune. And when we went on a recent cruise, I say the average age was about 50, 55, and we certainly saw people in their 80s and 90s having a great time on that ship and it is all adults, so no children. So your first task is to figure out, well, what kind of experience do I actually want to have on the ship? That will help to start narrowing down the actual cruise line and then the specific ships within the cruise line. And then you look at the itinerary. Are you the kind of person that wants to have more sea days or out of a seven night cruise? Maybe you've got four sea days where you're gonna kick back and relax. Or do you wanna have say five or six port stops so every single day almost you're getting off the ship, you're exploring new areas, you're getting to do new excursions and go see new things. Well, then you can start matching up. Okay, I'd like to do this kind of itinerary. I want this kind of a ship experience because not every ship does every single type of itinerary. I will say, Princess and Holland America have some of the more interesting itineraries out there, hitting a lot of spots and islands and towns that the other cruise lines are not. The other cruise lines are pretty much, you know, in a circle. We keep doing the same Caribbean cruises, we do the same Alaskan cruises, we do the same Mediterranean cruises. But Holland America, especially if you have time, they have some absolutely amazing itineraries 20 days up to 100 days plus that are round trip from the United States. So if you're looking for some really unique itineraries, Holland America has some outstanding itineraries. Now we look at that food consideration and will that totally make or break your cruise? Now it's gonna happen from time to time. You might have a bad meal or a bad food experience. That happens to all of us, but it doesn't ruin our cruise. Now we've been on eight different cruise lines and for us the best overall food experience has been Virgin Voyages, Disney Cruise Line, Celebrity, and Princess Cruise Line. So those four have given us the best overall food experience. And we've also cruised on and will continue to cruise on Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, Holland America, and Carnival. Now Norwegian actually has outstanding specialty dining. They don't have the best in the main dining room, but they have amazing specialty dining. And then looking, well, how many people would I like to cruise with? How big of a ship would I like to go on? Keeping in mind that even companies like Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, they have the smaller ships that cater primarily to adults. They don't have all of those bells and whistles up on the top decks. We find our sweet spot is somewhere between 2,500 and 3,500. That's a really nice size ship to go 
on. So it has plenty of venues to spread out the people. And then you have chances to do different kinds of things on different nights. So you're not just going to the theater every single night, or you're not just going to the same piano bar every night. You have options to go do different things in the evening. So there's no direct answer, this is the best cruise line or the best ship for senior citizens. There is only the best ship and the best cruise line for your particular situation and what you would like to do. Now this playlist right here with more tips and tricks might help give you some more background on ships and cruise lines. And if certainly if you have more questions, please drop them down in the comments. I'll do my best to get the answers for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and thanks so much for your support.